when you're in the tunnel waiting to come out, as you start to come out, you can hear it's murm it's it's like a muffled sound. But then as soon as you come out onto the pitch, you know, it's all hell's left loose. You sort of tingles, you know, you get a tingle in the back of your neck and your hairs, you know, you know, and it and it really hits you, the wall of noise. Football is football is a is a great game, but it's but um without the fans it's nothing. I started off like that. I used to play on a Sunday morning and we used to put the nets up, put the corner flags out, and then we'd play and there'd be like ten people watching, you know, and that basically was, was it. Uh, but we still loved it. It was passion, it was football we were doing. And then when you start getting into the the, the crowds get bigger, you know, you move up the up the ladder if you like. Um, to you, you know, you play at Wembley in front of a hundred thousand people. That's quite something, you know. It's just very, very special. Football chants, oh, they're, they're they're great, and I mean, they're ones that are orchestrated, orchestrated, um, and scripted. And then there's the spontaneous ones, and I think that's what West Ham are, are, are fantastic about. They're they're the spontaneous ones that come out. It'll start with just a few people doing it. You know, brand new chants that just come out on that game. Uh, it might be in relation to someone who's playing or the manager of the opposition, and they basically just start, and it just spreads from one little corner, and it goes right. It goes like wildfire right round the ground to within 30 seconds. You've got the whole stadium chanting the same thing. You know, and it, it is amazing how they can do that. You know, you're losing one 0 with 10 minutes to go, and you're feeling down, and then you know if the crowd are silent or if the crowd are negative towards you then you know it makes you even feel worse you know you almost the crowd have given up on you so you tend to think well you know you give up yourself whereas if the crowd start suddenly you know you, you get up you get a corner the crowd and the noise goes up you know and then then another attack and the crowd get louder and louder and once they get behind you um, and it's not so much it's not so much the chance as such, but it's just that noise, you know, that, that, that wall of noise that lifts and lifts. Um, and I think that really does, yeah, you can, you can lift you in the last 10 minutes when you're, you're absolutely shattered and you've got nothing left. Especially in an evening game when it was like the pit, you know, the, the ground was like this where it's slippy and, you know, the, the, the atmosphere on those nights under the floodlights were amazing. Some of the best kind of games that I, I, I can remember.